When you add products to current RMS, you can choose to set up your products with bulk or serialized stock tracking. Bulk is great for simple stock tracking. Simply enter a quantity and current will keep track of how many are available. Serialized stock tracking not only keeps track of the quantity available, but also lets you add a list of unique asset numbers. You can book out and check in assets on opportunities so you know exactly which unit was rented or sold. If you'd like, current RMS can automatically assign asset numbers for you when you create serialized stock levels, speeding up the process of adding new inventory. To get started, go to System Preferences and toggle Automatic Asset Numbers to Yes. It's under the Product Settings heading. Set a prefix, choose your number length and enter the next number in the sequence. The preview box will give you an idea of how your asset numbers will look. If you've already added serialized stock levels, Currents will let you know the highest existing asset number underneath. Find a serialized product in Resources Products, then add a new stock level under the Stock Levels heading. Enter the quantity of assets that you'd like to add and click Create Stock Level. That's it, you're done. Current RMS will add assets for you using the next numbers in your asset numbering sequence. You may still specify your own asset numbers if you wish. On the Add New Stock Level screen, choose Manual Asset Number, Enter Your Asset Number, and optionally your serial number. Use Create and Add Another to add that asset and reload the page so that you're ready to add more. When you're done, go back to the product page to see your added assets. For a full overview of automatic asset numbering, get in touch with the team today. Yeah.